Omicron is showing more of a typical flu-like illness with, you know, fever, sore throat, cough, fatigue, etc., rather than this kind of loss of taste and smell that compared to Delta and uh, Alpha variants. So we think this might be a good sign that uh, it is moving towards a more typical flu-like illness rather than the unusual pandemic uh, strain of uh, infections that we've been seeing in the last two years. And that is also a kind of move towards a better adapted virus to humans, which is milder, but more transmissible, but doesn't kill so many people. I think it's, it's changed the way we deal, we're dealing with the pandemic. So at the moment, you know, in certainly the UK, there are fewer restrictions because uh, the UK is trying to ride out the Omicron variant, given that it's not causing as many hospitalizations as we had with Alpha and Delta. I think that the, the future is optimistic with the way the virus is varying. I don't think the virus is going to revert back to a more severe form on a global basis. You, you might see some side variants, you know, it's kind of offshoots of the main global uh, adaptation of the virus in certain populations where uh, they might be more serious for a while. And then the main variant, the Alpha Delta Omicrons, will gradually move towards a more benign and harmless um, strain, even though it's more transmissible, and some people will end up in hospital as we see with seasonal flu every year. I personally think that this virus, the SARS-CoV virus, may actually become so mild that most of us won't need to get vaccinated. Because vaccinating the whole population in every country every year is, is a huge burden. I think it will become more targeted in those who are most vulnerable, uh, in the over 65s, for example, and those with chronic comorbidities. I think this virus may evolve itself out of the pandemic before we solve this global vaccine equity situation, which is still very uneven. You know, about only 10% of the world population has been properly, truly vaccinated, fully vaccinated. And the other 90% is gonna have to wait a long time to, to reach double vaccination status, given all the third, fourth, those boosters that the rich developed countries are waiting for. So in fact, I think the virus itself may, may do us a great favour if it continues to evolve in this way towards more, towards more milder uh, phenotype and not have to require people to vaccinate to actually have a more mild version of the disease. So I think that the, va the virus is going to maybe solve the vaccine equity problem for us in that we may not need it anymore, say 12 to 24 months from now.